The Encephalitis Society has been around since 1994. I joined the Society in 98 as a member of the Scientific Advisory Panel and we've seen tremendous growth in, uh, since then and in particular uh, real growth in the research around encephalitis. So um, we have learned over the past 30 years or so about treatments for some forms of encephalitis like herpes encephalitis and this is now standard treatment to give acyclovir in case of this. Uh, we've also discovered that some patients don't have encephalitis caused directly by a pathogen but they have autoimmune encephalitis and again uh, the Encephalitis Society were collaborators on one of the key studies that we did here in the UK showing how important autoimmune encephalitis is and indeed the Society has been a co-applicant on many other research grants. We are getting towards the end of a large study looking at whether dexamethasone, which is a corticosteroid, will help with herpes encephalitis. This has been a, an unanswered question for a long time. So we've really seen the research agenda grow enormously over the last uh, several years and this is making a big impact on patient care. So although we've made great progress over the last 25 years and especially over the last 10 years, there is more work to be done in terms of research and of course we do need more research funding. I think some of the big questions that we are hoping to address over the next few years uh, include how do we best treat patients with autoimmune encephalitis. This is a relatively new area. Currently uh, there are treatments that are given. It seems that some of them work but there have been no uh, randomised controlled trials looking at the best treatments. So that's one of the key questions that we will be answering in the next few years. The other thing that has changed really over, over the last few years is that uh, the global community who are researching on encephalitis are drawing more closely together. So for the Encephalitis Society, the big focus in the first couple of decades was really encephalitis in the UK. But over the last few years, uh, we've seen growth. We have a new project funded by the UK National Institute for Health Research, uh, which is on acute encephalitis around the world. We call this Brain Infections Global. It includes encephalitis and meningitis. And we have partners in many countries. And so through this, we're bringing the research community together to tackle this disease together.